Okay. Now one last person to potentially confront. So we're finally going to see Valeria. At oh, the... right. We also have Sunder. Boy. Yeah, I was getting tons of comments from people that want me to go into the dungeon more often, but it's like, it's so much better for me to alternate. Well, and the other thing, too, is the dungeons become a little monotonous with just the And there's the only enemies. two of them. Well, right. Like, we're almost actually done with the fighting portions of this game. Mm-hmm. You turn onto the side streets that houses Valeria's art studio. But the smile on your face drops off as you see Jake walk out. Ooh, are you going to hide or confront? Uh, you know what? She's prevented you from talking with this guy for far too long. All right. You stand in front of him, arms crossed, trying to project confidence. And maybe just the tiniest bit of menace. Huh. Get out of my way. Oh, this isn't what I wanted. I wanted to, like, actually talk with the guy. Not... Not... Berate him. Yeah. But she was upset when he was around, so... Yeah. Let's go with... Leave, leave Larry alone. alone. You don't really know her at all, do you? She hates it when people try to oh, protect yeah. her. I'm trying to walk down the street and you won't let me? You're a dick. Look, can we skip the bullshit? You're just jealous. And that's your problem, not mine. <laughs> he gives you a grin and then saunters away, whistling. Cripes. Ugh. Yeah. I'd... You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Anytime now. Definitely enter the Enter the studio. studio. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody spiced perfume. Hey. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yep, talk to him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which... She twirls a strand of hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy... I have something to show oh. you. I want to trust you with a new part of me. And I'm not sure I should. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. It's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Wait, what does she mean by who she is? Is she... Is she mural person? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, once again, there's no there's no penalty as far as I can tell to potentially romancing multiple people. The thing is, I I don't. Well, what's the I'm not sure to? What's so, the big step? That so she this was is saying? romance. This is not romance. That's how it's always been. So the real question is, do we engage or do we pull back and try and you know do what we did with Seven, but well, with her? Well, the thing is. What is she asking? What is I she? I don't know. Shell, I think we quibble about this too much. Okay, fine, fine. I think fine, I'm just going to start saying yes to everything, and we'll just say whatever. Eh. And if weird things happen, weird things happen. Yeah. Really? Okay, then. Come with me. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in near silence. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you. You keep walking till you reach the mall. Valeria tugs you to the side. Oh! She might be. She might be the mural artist? Yeah. Yeah. She searches your face as you take in the mural on the once plain wall. So she likes doing these flower mandalas, and that's definitely some kind of... Chained woman? Well, there, she almost looks like a moon goddess, but yeah, she does have the chains around her wrist and her arms. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, thanks. You really think so? Um, wow. Thank you. This is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are, the Roses of Venus. Yep, we were right about that. Mm -hmm. That's what we made together. We'd bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of maybe 30 people in the whole world who knows who we are big secret what being an internationally renowned art prov provocateur mm -hmm. well well i guess i just trust you well that's my secret this is who i am istanbul paris tokyo new york london shanghai and now verona beach 
Our last job, all together, was the Louvre. Uh, it got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by the Interpol now. And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. <sighs> I just need to get away from it all. You know? Lie low. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her scene. <laughs> Valeria looks at you, the truth of her painted on the wall behind and possibly bright. So maybe if we had been wishy-washy, she wouldn't have shown us the painting. Yeah. I think we might as well just start going with yes and just like, yeah. So what is this about confusing enemies? Heavy finishers have wider damage area or confuse enemies. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to go with that for now. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here. More than like it, maybe. You stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? What would she like? I like the eyeshadow. I don't know. Oh, is a silver she, ring? A, a silver ring? I mean, we know that she likes a lot of jewelry, but all her jewelry is Oh, she is likes gold. games. Games? Oh, yes. Oh, this is so sweet. I want to play it with you. You head home. Well, it is time. For the dungeon? I think or so. Or Dancing with Sunder. And then the dungeon. Uh, probably Dancing with Sunder. The music is dark and coppery tonight, flavored with industrial tones. <laughs> Sunder returns from a break outside with a wild glint in his eyes. Ooh. Wow, he's Leading enemies really do strong. less damage or move slower? Was it, what's that? Do less damage or move slower. Move slower. The music gains ferocity and speed as you dance. Eventually, the night draws to a close and the club empties. You stumble outside. The crowd of loiterers smells like gin and cigarette smoke. <gasps> a scream pierces the shatter. Oh my god, someone called 911! People gather around something on the ground. Oh, shit, is he dead? Oh no, that's messed up, man. Go home, people, it's alright. An ambulance is already on the way. I don't have the energy for this tonight. Take care of it. Yes, sir. Sunder stalks away towards Kick's Cafe. Yeah, ask the bouncer for in info. What's going on here? Ambulance is on the way. Sunder will pay for it from his tab. More than that, I can't say. You'll have to ask him. You go to the cafe. The cafe smells like coffee and buttered mm. pastries. Ah, welcome. That one's your friend, right? We're closing soon, so hurry it up. She waves you nervously towards Sunder, who's lounging in a hey. corner. Hey. He seems distracted, restless. Uh, there's something I haven't told you yet. I don't really know how to put this, but if you don't like me afterwards, I guess that's fine. Did he stab that guy? Uh, I don't know. Take your time. Okay, thanks. I'm not sure how to explain it, but... So you know how sometimes you have a craving for, like, chocolate? Mm. And then some people are made of chocolate? Ah, oh, no, this isn't working. Okay, let me start over. Once there was a beautiful princess who promised a young man he could live forever. Hey. Speak of the devil. <laughs> right? How was my timing? Uh... Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. Mandy, hey. Messy meal tonight, huh? Should have brought a bib. Uh, what? You came here just to rub it in. Fine. Dude, listen up. You'll be here all night the way he tells it. So, I'll just tell you. Sunder's 200 years old. We use blood transfusions to stay young. <laughs> They're not vampire people. <laughs> Wait, Wait, you're, you're vampires? vampires? <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. Sunder shrugs it off. <laughs> See? Being up front makes it easier. Not like dude is a vampire hunter. Vampire shmampire. Uh, gee, I can't imagine why I'd pretend to be a good 
Why, I'd want to pretend to be a good boyfriend uh, instead. Whatever. Time to go, Sunder. Leave your playmate to think about being your hey. food. Don't be ridiculous, I'd never eat, dude. He's special. I'm a vampiric sword, not a monster. That's why all his abilities blood. are blood-related? Yep. Wait, so we have s people that can change into swords and vampires in this universe? Guess so. What other kind of mythological beings are there? Me. What? <laughs> what? You should just own what you are, kiddo. All of it. Denial is a bad look. Dude, don't, don't listen to her, okay? I'll text you. I still... I want this to work, somehow. Oh. oh, don't pressure. You kept a pretty big secret, so give him time to adjust. Sunder leaves, eyes downcast. Uh, don't get me wrong, dude. The problem isn't just that Sunder is a vampire. Though it can't help that you smell like dinner, but the main problem is that he's a selfish and fickle. I'd use this whole thing as an excuse to get far away. Here's something to remember us by. She hands you a small pouch. It smells sinful. Whoa, it was dark essence? Can I be a vampire? What? <laughs> really? Why not? Mandy leaves without answering. Aww. Our character is a psychopath to begin with, so... <laughs> Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I was afraid you'd leave. Now that you know what I am, what do you think? Vampires are... Vampires are cool. <laughs> Sorry, really. I guess I'll see you in the dunch. Uh, Whatever, why not? Who cares? Gosh. I, I'm not just... going to say that I've kind of hit this, like, whatever state in this game. But it's just kind of like... You're starting at one? Yeah. Okay. Gives me more time to level every, everybody up. Uh -huh. uh, so... It just reminds me of how I've been trying to watch through the Twilight films. Just because... Oh, wait. Cat's purring? And unfortunately... It, it has to be in part the cinematography, but also the script. But it's just... Trash? Uh... I tried watching it for a bad movie night in college and I left. It's like <laughs> one of the only movies that I've like ever backed out of watching for the bad movie nights. No, Well, and was... it's, it's kind of ridiculous by the time you get to the last two movies. Yeah, I read plot synopses and it, it was just like... But, people like this? I mean... I... I've always been intrigued by the whole dichotomy of the, you know, werewolves and the vampires, you know, living amongst humans in secret, even into the modern day, etc. And I mean, I really loved a number of other films. I mean, I thought that the world building and such and things like Underworld was interesting. And I liked the, I know it's so campy, but the Van Helsing movie with Hugh Jackman and yeah. Kate Beckinsale in it like those are just fun you really it. need to play some more video games shell wait why are you There's some good vampire ones eh, yeah true like vampire the masquerade has some like weird issues oh oh i know i, I know that it's also a tabletop role-playing game but like such. the video games for it weren't actually half bad right Wow. <laughs> 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 the cat Anyway, uh, so in regards to me starting on the, like, first level for this game. Uh -huh. God, this cat is wicked strong. That's a really big AoE. I mean, slashy slashy. Yeah, it's big slashy slashy, but that's, like, excessively big. Like, none of the other... No, I just killed a thing through a wall with that. Like, I was expecting... Challenge completed. Oh, that was weird. I think I walked out of it before it could trigger. Um, <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I was going to kind of talk about... Now, I deserve that. That's hard to aim. Mm-hmm. 
that's fine. Wow, I have a lot of HP now. I guess I might as well just eat this and then keep rolling. I'm really kind of surprised and disappointed. Uh, hello? That what? Wait, oh. You find a more private part of the club. The ropes seem to keep the monsters wow. away. Wow. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes. Eyeshadow. What? what? No thanks. Pocket bats the glitter eyeshadow with his paw until it falls to the floor. You pick it back up. Pocket curls up and seems to instantly fall into a cat nap. In the cozy quiet, you find yourself also falling into a light snooze. In a dream, you smell something delicious. You reach out and find the source and stuff it into your mouth. You bite down into something juicy and yet crunchy. You slowly realize it was a tasty... Mouse? Wait, you wake up gagging to find Pocket staring at you intently. You sent me that dream? Pocket tilts his head curiously, but doesn't answer. You both stretch and get ready to return to battle. I just headcanon for this guy is that he just ate the mouse gladly. Just does not care. Uh... Oh, look, like, we've already kind of established that the main character for this is a bit of a psycho. Wants to be the best dungeon master. Like, I really actually want to see a more in-depth version of kind of this in this universe and this character, but not within the context of dating. Well, uh, wouldn't it... Wasn't, wasn't this... There are probably characters like this in those anime with the the Endless Tower. Well, yeah, but like where... I know in Tower Draga, they at least I had an amount of like main character wanted to date somebody question mark uh, maybe I don't know we never gave that enough credit or credit we, we never watched enough of it part of it was like the the first episode was it had weird. a gag opening which is hilarious but then you actually get into the beginning of the show and it slows down yeah but it was also kind of like a little sexist yeah and it was just kind of like oh, okay it's hard it's so it's so hard to find good anime but like i remember we really enjoyed at least a little bit of is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon because it wasn't all just dating sim stuff but like the more it went on the more it became that and it was just like eh. mm. like i don't know like i'm fine with romance but it just like was everything yeah and then also harem which mm -hmm. is kind of my other thing. When um, everyone's pining for the main character, and you go... Nah. Haka takes a few tentative sniffs of the warm, summery night air. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes. But come on, we have to find something that he would actually like. Vodka. Uh... I don't know. Plan? I don't think so. You decide not to give a gift for now. He yawns and stretches luxuriously, the envy of yoga teachers everywhere. Mid-yawn, Pocket pauses, strangely alert, fur fluffing. What is it? You look around, you realize you sense something, too. Someone is here. Wait, it's it's the shop dude, isn't it? Yeah. A strange man steps out from the shadows, eyeing you both. <laughs> all right, all right, you found me. Don't attack, I'm Vetus Varnas. I was just taking a break from the shop, but here, I'll give you a special deal. Mm -hmm. Two fabric for ten bucks, basically half price, sure. Then we're done here, stay safe. Vita's Varna strolls back into the dungeon, Pocket hisses farewell. Creepy. But it's like, I actually really like the story behind the idea of these like weird dungeons, and people that potentially like go in and clear them out. Um. Mm hmm Yep. Oh. oh. Oh, I love small venues. Seeing a musician up close is cooler than a big arena. Looks like there isn't a gig here now, though. Monsters are probably bad at booking. Would you like to offer a gift? Do we have any more food? Yep. Ah, yes. Oh, my mouth is watering. I have to eat it. It will be the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. Marsky and McQueen are from Verona Beach. So maybe I'll see them here someday, even though they're famous. I saw them. Whoa, that's amazing. You saw Marsky and McQueen? And you know Rose of Venus? Jeez. <laughs> Wait, we told we told them that? 
I guess it's just common knowledge now. I have so much to learn about being cool. They give you a shy smile. Should we continue back to the dunge? Uh, let's see. Ow! I know we kind of spoiled it for ourselves looking at the achievements, but I suppose the first dungeon was about change. This one's about intimacy? I mean, is that that big of a surprise? I mean, obviously, with the whole being uncomfortable about dating. Mm hmm. Yeah, before we got together, I was mortified by the idea. Yeah. But I think a lot of that was just lack of trust. Yeah. I couldn't imagine myself trusting someone else in that manner. It makes sense. I mean, it didn't help that the way that media often depicted romance and things. Uh, Messy, I predatory, and kind of misogynistic. Yep. And I was always fond of the adventures when, you know, it's, you know, the battle couple that you know, spends eight seasons of a show battling monsters and, uh, you know, helping one another through insurmountable obstacles and facing all odds. And then, sure, at the end, they kind of realize, oh, yeah, we really like each other. But, you know, they're the ones that quarrel throughout the whole series and mm -hmm. things like that. Like, that's cute. But... It's because it takes so much time for them to develop. Whereas usually in most movies and shows, isn't the attraction almost immediate? Or I suppose in the context of a movie, things have to take place over the course of two hours. Yeah. But obviously the with some is, time like, skips. I What I wish they did instead was said, hey, but what if the characters were already like romantically entangled? Right. That was something that we've definitely brought up, that too often the story focuses on the characters getting together, but not actually showing a healthy relationship in the aftermath. Yeah. But then again, it's like that with most series. You show the conflict and the drama, and you don't actually show a time of peace and prosperity. Yeah. I. So we've been recently watching a fair bit of Owl House. We, we binged through the entire... A season and a half that is available and it's a bit of a tragedy that it's like only going to be what two and a half seasons long give or take mm -hmm. because one of the things that I like about it is the characters get together like the romance happens pretty quickly eh, not that quickly it has a like they build it up they build it, it up but like the characters are actually dating at the moment and you know, it doesn't seem like they're gonna do the like. Actually, they're gonna break break up. I mean, maybe they do. Who knows? But it's like they actually are showing this relationship in a more wholesome and healthy way. That I think I've seen almost any other television show do. Because mm -hmm. oh, if being in a haunted, sticky floor discotheque isn't bad enough, the monsters actually made a VIP space. I guess the boss monsters are kind of like VIPs. You go ahead and rest. Put your feet up. I'd rather stand guard. Feeling restless? Right. You could say that. I welcome a, welcome a challenge, but I want this one d done and over with. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the social purpose of electronic music and dance floors. I just can never quite enjoy the chaos and vulgarity of places hmm. like this. Perhaps it reminds me a little too much of my misspent youth. I was thinking. I was unthinking. Inconsiderate. If I had been half as perceptive as you when I was your age, I certainly would have fewer regrets. How much mm. older are you? He falls silent for a few moments, lost in thought. Would you like to offer a gift? Would he like the cuff fine bourbon. or the silver... What? Oh, fine bourbon. Oh, what a nice brand. I'll have to make you an old-fashioned sometime. Ah, uh, well, shall we continue? Speaking of, hmm? I do not like most, like, Kind of generic liquor, liquors like mm. whiskey and rum and bourbon and whatnot. 
Shell makes are really good old fashioned. Wait, what do you mean by old fashioned? Wasn't it old fashioned? No. What was it then? The that it was a it was a grenadine smoky ginger ale with rum. Well, mixture. okay, never mind. Shell makes are really good. Whatever the heck that was. It's called the dark and stormy. That's what it's. Except called. I put grenadine in it, so it's technically different. Eh, whatever. I, what happened was we had got a bunch of rum at one point so that we could make rum cakes and rum breads. And also you use a little bit of rum and, and you kind of boil it off when you make Caribbean curries yeah. with bananas and such because it's just supposed to impart a little bit of its flavor but the alcohol itself burns off. <laughs> but then oh. we had all this rum left over and I didn't know what to do with it. And I'm like, what can we mix cocktail-wise so that it's less... Yeah, tough so, dark liquor. and stormies. And it was good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Ah, the noble game of billiards. A game of skill uniting kings and wastrels. Yeah, I like billiards. You rack up the balls and start to play. Isaac isn't bad, but seems distracted. Something uh, wrong? Uh, it's nothing, really. I just wish I could... I just wish I could try the original 1500s version. The green velvet is so modern. Maybe it's because this version is a favorite of my father's, but I'd rather be under the sun, on the grass, even using a mace instead of a cue, perhaps. Whoa, wait a minute. Is this... Are pool tables based off of some kind of weird version of croquet? Isn't that croquet? True. It did evolve into croquet wait, wait, that, eventually. Wait. Oh, oh, that was an answer? The I, I didn't even read rather it. rather charming, too. This is nice, though. Life is life is the art of making the best of what we have. When life gives us monsters, we make monster aid. He hesitates for an uh, extra moment. But to be clear, let's not actually drink the monsters. Just never mind. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Traumatize the dude some more? Isaac! Turns out these things taste delicious! No, stop, please. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat monsters. How are you cooking a cell phone? <laughs> I don't know. I still really like the headcanon of our character just being this, like, really strange guy. Like, everybody is kind of used to the idea of the dungeons being this, like, kind of hobby thing. But almost nobody, like, is a professional monster, like, dungeon clear. Just because, like, why, why would anybody... Do you like playing croquet? Uh, it's okay. I think I like bocce better. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. Bocce is a bit simpler. Ye yeah. In that you're just supposed to try to aim as best you can and so part of it how is, much your ball rolls. Um, I played croquet with a number of people that used to... Kind of like my experiences with pool. Well, not quite my... Oh, were Not they the, the ones same. that would hit your balls off into the distance? Like, so far I couldn't find it. We never played by those rules where you can hit your opponents. It was always just you focus on your ball and try to get it through your wickets. Yeah. You know? But it's like, in, in this case, they they walloped my ball so far that I, like... What was it? Or... If, if, you, if they were able to nick your ball... Would they then be able to hit it away, or if it's, if it's if it stops next to your ball? Yeah, and so they would use their ball as kind of like a, not quite a fulcrum because that's not the right word, but they they would they could they could put their foot on it, right? Yeah, they could put their foot on their ball and then hit their ball more or less into mine and send mine flying, mm -hmm. which was miserable because then, you know, it sometimes was completely unrecoverable, especially as a newbie. Yeah, we, we never played with those as p potential moves. Now, what do we have here? Would you like to offer a gift? Yep. Lipstick. Aw, yeah. oh, that's thoughtful of you. Thanks huh? so much. Wow, this bar has all the whiskeys. Girl could get used to this. She slides behind the bar, pours a double shot for herself, and raises an eyebrow at you. Sure. Wait, what? Well, honestly, I could think of many reasons, but let's pretend that we're yeah. drunk masters. She pours you a drink and sips her own. 
Every muscle of her face relaxes in pleasure. Hmm, just kidding. Drunken masters were always hand to hand. No sharp edges. I'm just too dangerous for stumbling around. I wouldn't want to hurt you after all. She becomes suddenly serious. Um... Unless I have to, that is. You know, to protect my secrets. Of course. <laughs> she winks and saunters away from the bar, leaving her empty glass. I walked right into that one, huh? Okay, there we go. I think I've discovered how to make her really strong. So, I made it so her heavy attacks mm -hmm. uh, now confuse enemies. Right, right. So as long as I just mash the heavy attacks... They can't move. They're just perma, perma stunned. I just have to make sure I'm hitting all of them, which is a little harder with her. Mm-hmm. I think more perks will probably make her even stronger. Well, I mean, that's... Into the loot sack. Oh, I read that as, I'm the loot sack, and I'm just like, what? Watch every dungeoneering individual's equipment piece being a human. So someone does have to be the inventory sack. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to be the armor. Uh. <laughs> You've had a dream where you're armor before. Yeah. Wasn't that weird? Uh, I mean, it was inspired by the Giver movie. <laughs> so it's like, I had a framework for understanding what and why. I don't know if we did the weird burger scene, though. What? Did you never see the live-action Giver movie? No, maybe maybe really I've seen bad. some clips from it because for a short while I was obsessed with the costumes in Giver and wanted one of the statuettes or something. And then you saw the scene with the boob lasers and it quickly cured you of your interests. <laughs> yep. Or heightened them, I'm not sure. Well, so for the guys, it was just their pectoral plates, but when they had the female Givers... Which I wasn't she some villainous? She was like some corporate lady with red hair, I think, for the purple diver. But yeah, it would have been just the breastplates. Flopping into the, a seat feels good. You realize that you're more tired than you thought. Ugh, fighting takes a lot out of you, doesn't it? Would you like to offer a gift? Decide not to give a gift right now. Maybe we've been pushing ourselves too hard lately. <sighs> Valeria stifles a yawn. Oh, but it's not too late to learn from our mistakes. It's safe. How about a quick cat nap? Valeria's lips quirk up into a fond smile. I'll stay in this shape, just in case we get ambushed. She slips her hilt into your hand, and you soon doze off. When you open your eyes, Valeria is already up, and her edges are gleaming. <laughs> that was perfect. I'm all charged up. Let's go. Anyway, so the American Giver movie is pretty bad. Oh, it was American. Yeah. I see. It was like one of those classic like, hey, here's this thing that's kind of popular in Japan. Let's make like a Western adaption of it. And so effectively, I think it's like alien suit uh, lands. Uh, frankly? The plot's almost one for one the same as the Transformers movie, at least in the beginning. You know, you ha have your kind of Shia LaBeouf character uh, trying oh, to hide right. the fact that he has this thing. Maybe there's government people, but then like another Giver suit that he's going to have to fight. Now, was the Giver suit ever liquid? Or would it just encase someone? Because it, it almost reminds me of the Venom concept. I, I don't know. So I, I know nothing about Giver beyond just the existence of this movie and watching it twice. I thought that they had this alien device that was kind of attached to them, too. That was the source of the suit. But, uh... 
the thing I remember about it the most was that they uh, went to like a drive through mm. and ordered a burger. Yeah. And the Giver suit ate the burger. Wait, the suit did? Yeah, and then reprocessed it as this gross food ball <laughs> for the character to eat instead. And it, like, tasted awful and some other things. Oh, man. Oh, fancy. So this is where our high shelf liquors went. Oh, right, we've already done this one. There we go. So that's why he was doing the whole 500 years business. Uh, let's see. It's really interesting, going back to the whole vampires bit. A number of the characters I notice in vampire media that live into the modern day very rarely, only the elders of the clan would ever necessarily go back to the Middle Ages. Yeah. But a favorite of theirs is that a number of vampires were around during either the Revolutionary or the Civil War. They like to use wartime and you know, soldiers as a backup. Well, not a backup, but a backdrop. Backdrop, yeah. To someone in in the past. Maybe just to say that I was alive during this momentous event of U.S. history. Yeah. But could you imagine going from four strong carriages and almost a complete lack of modern medicine and any kind of tech to playing video games and talking on phones, computing on phones. You know what I mean? I mean, but it wouldn't be instantaneous. It wouldn't be instantaneous, but just remembering the before times. I'm curious how much you would remember. I think you'd remember a lot of it. Oh boy. The thing is, with life that long, I mean, even I find it difficult to remember. I I'm actually surprised at just how much my mom remembers of specific days and events. Whereas there are things that are lost to me. I, I suppose it depends on what you're what you prioritize. For me, what I tend to hold on to are particular events that usually involve something interesting that, you know, my first time witnessing wild mink swimming around in the water or, you know what I'm getting at? Unique experiences like that, but I forget a lot of the mundane day-to-day -day occurrences. And the other thing, too, is I suppose my head is also just too full of stories and narratives from various media mm -hmm. that, for me, much of my past... I wouldn't necessarily say is tied to the media that I consumed. But some of my fondest memories involve the movies I I watched or the games that I played. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So I can look to a movie and say, you know, I watched this in movie in the movie theaters and you know, probably watched it 10 times. And and I know for me like I'm not going to say I can have, like, perfect recall of a video game, because that's not really true. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I can think back to most of the video games that I've played over the years, and have, like, a decent recollection of, like, what had happened. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go down shortly. This section does not give much for bubble tea. Oh no. It's okay. Lack of bubble tea. What I really need to do is uh, do another run of the dunge. 
and max out um, seven. Because if seven gets up to rank uh, six, everybody else levels up twice as fast. Really? Yep. Yeah, I was reading some reviews for this game. Even though you aren't necessarily romancing him. Correct. Yeah, there I go. Okay. I still get a number of levels out of this. Let's see, qualified to protector. Licensed. They're licensed dungeon dweller now. Hero. Ah, oh, so close to hero. Okay. Wait, what about the blood stains on velvet? I don't know. We'll read about it in a little while. We're going back to the dungeon. Uh, let's see. And what for? You don't want to go to 11? You're going to 9? Yeah, we'll go to 9. 9 has a little bit more. I think we've also never taken the elevator before. Uh. Don't overdo it just to impress me. Yeah. I understand by my statement of seven being by and far the strongest dungeon crawler. <laughs> that air, that oh, airy chain is lightning. Just crazy strong. Hmm. You play some pool with seven. What do you think? Am I more of a solid or a stripe? Mm, judging, stripe. stretching by his shirt. What? Stripe. Oh uh, yeah. I guess you bring up my fun side. Is that what stripes mean? I'm not sure. You're one of the only few, only people who knows the real me. You know, it's a new feeling. He smiles. Would you like to offer a gift? No. Nope. <laughs> Thanks for taking some time to recharge your batteries. He flares into weapon form. Pshum. So we've been playing this game long enough. I think I can say I really wish it was just like... I'm not going to say twice as long, but I wish they had more to do on the exploration side. Well, oh, exploration in the dungeon, you mean? Yeah. Well, also, I'm curious as to what the demons are in the shop and stuff. Because I think it would have been almost cooler if they, they had these, like, ancient underworld labyrinths. And there was, like, more meaning to them than just, like, just being a source of a person's fears. Right, because why... It, it's implied that it's not exclusive to Verona. They pop up in several locations around the world, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, some characters, some world building that goes just beyond, like, our own stuff, I think would have been really neat. Because I feel like there's so much potential for... Well, also, think of the, the church with the people wielding the weapons and stuff. Yeah. I really want to know the history of weapons and wielders. And also, there's the whole Knights Templar thing in the background that has seemed to have been dropped. I think it comes back up. Uh, later, like once we clear this dungeon. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. I don't know. And we haven't even met one of the characters yet, have we? Unless they are DLC. Maybe, but like, I doubt it. I mean, wasn't the Viking guy? He was, but he doesn't show up on any of the achievements. Mm -hmm. Whereas the scythe is an achievement. Uh, let's see. Maybe even gone to the right place in town? Maybe. It's possible. I think somebody did say there was one more person that we could get in the world map. I There is the small possibility Ooh, we have wait, to... Wait, uh... there's the haunted house at the edge of town. Why haven't we gone there? Oh. What do you think? Little umbrellas, or smoke, or foam. At the very least, so much ice shaking. Maybe it's because I don't drink much, but I don't see the point. Novelty? <laughs> Maybe I should be glad I don't care about novelty much. Seems expensive and tiring. Way better things to do anyway, like beatdowns. <laughs> yep. I forgot that there was a haunted house. Yeah, there's a creepy haunted house at the edge of town. And from the artwork that I've seen of the scythe, they are definitely 
affiliated with sort of these albino ravens. Well, I'm still going to max out seven before we go anywhere. Because mm -hmm. if we can max max him out, everybody else levels faster, which means, you know, less grinding. But yeah, I, I wish there was a little bit more thought into the world design and whatnot. I kind of had the same problem with... Uh, well, and also the characters don't interact with each other at all. Yeah, which I'm kind of fine with just because it'd be a little weird. Mm. And so much more effort to design around. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. But I just wish I knew what they thought of each other or if they were even you know aware of each other's existence. You would have actually been kind of a cool way of doing it in an alternate sense. Hmm. Um, having it that maybe... No, that would be a lot more work. But it would have been kind of cool if instead of making your own character, uh, you got to choose two of the characters that you pair together for a playthrough of the game. Um, and so, like, say if you want to see... Uh, let's see, Valeria and, like, Isaac together as, like, a romantic couple. You get to choose that, and you do, like, the playthrough of the game. And, oops. Mm -hmm. Wow, those things hurt. Now we maxed them out. Wheeler, level 31. Oh. Vanquisher. Vanquisher is the next one. We got what we needed. What are you making? Everything. Ah. Oh. Top hat and monocle. Oh no. <laughs> All right. So what do we got? Hat. Exit shows in the mini map. There are more zines, fewer beverages, lucky earrings, different soundtrack. What soundtrack? Don't know. And Valkyrie band doubles all damage. Hmm. We also have True Royalty. Oh, boy. <laughs> Heck, yeah. And we have more zines. What is this? Bug princess zine. Bug ally. Once upon a time, a girl uh, loved bugs. 